happening today. We are learning the plan for this year's annual downtown 4th of July fireworks show. This announcement comes as some local fire departments do have some concerns about personal fireworks because of the current drought conditions. Mm -hmm. So could we see a ban? Our Eric Pointer joins us now live from downtown Indy where the fireworks will be to explain the warning from officials. Morning, Eric. Good morning. So the last time Indianapolis banned private fireworks was back in 2012, and that decision was made following heavy drought conditions. The holiday is less than a week away, and the rest of the week is expected to be dry with a small chance for a shower over the weekend. Right now, we have not heard of any counties banning private fireworks just yet. Deputy Chief Mike Pruitt with Barkersville Fire Department says that those decisions can vary depending on who gets rain and who doesn't. You know, it really comes down to the local jurisdiction. If they feel like the hazard is great enough, um, and we've seen that happen in the past. You know, some areas of Indiana have had uh, rain and others have not. So what might happen in one town in a county right next to you versus your county might be totally different. Fire departments we spoke to say that the dry and dead grass can burn quickly from a firework. They suggest homeowners soak the grass area before using fireworks or move it to the pavement. And that annual downtown 4th of July fireworks show that was put on by Downtown Indy Inc. and Visit Indy. They are scheduled to announce the plans for the show this morning at 10 o'clock. Live downtown, Eric Pointer, Fox 59 News.